Over the years, I've reviewed quite a few of these portable power stations, or whatever you want to call them. Some brands call them generators, although I don't like that name because they aren't really generating power, only storing it. Anyways, whatever name you use, these are portable devices with batteries in them that can be used for off-grid power on the job site, while camping, or wherever grid power is hard to come by. For full disclosure, I did receive this product for free in exchange for an honest and impartial review video. This unit from Energizer is on the smaller side of portable power devices, but some of the features intrigued me. For one, they specify that a lithium iron phosphate battery is used internally. This type of lithium ion is much safer than other chemistries, so there is almost no risk of fire or explosion. And while they don't pack quite as much energy density as some of the other lithium chemistries, they do still last a very long time and are extremely efficient. Another thing that caught my eye was the USB-C charging. I've seen other competitive products have USB-C ports to provide power, but this is the first I've seen that can receive power by USB-C as well. And while an integrated flashlight is not unique on these type of devices, the size and brightness of the side LED panel look to be another benefit. So enough of the marketing, let's look at the product itself. Initial impressions on unboxing is that this thing is even smaller than I expected. It is very lightweight too, which is good for portability, but the plastic used for the case may not be the most durable in the long term. The handle on top is made of leather, which is a nice touch that I haven't seen before. It comes with cigarette lighter adapter input and output cables for 12 volt DC, and a wall power adapter for 120 volt AC charging. The first thing that I wanted to try was the LED light, which is very bright and easy to turn on and off. I always like to thumb through the user manual to see if it is in readable English and if they include good support and contact information. I've reviewed plenty of Chinese electronics that don't put any contact information at all in their documentation. Thankfully this was not one of them, and the English was easy to understand. If you've watched any of my review videos before, you know that unboxing and talking about features is not worth much, so I make sure to thoroughly test products out. After fully charging the power station, the first test is going to be an endurance test to verify the unit's capacity rating. Energizer claims 150 watt hours of capacity, so I'm going to run this fan on high until the battery is completely discharged and then do the math. As you can see, the fan consumes 65 watts of power. After 107 minutes, the power station shut off. 107 multiplied by 65 divided by 60 equals 116 watt hours, which is significantly short of the 160 watt hour rating. This is typical though because manufacturers usually just use the battery capacity rating and not the device itself, and or they test the capacity on a really low amp draw, which will yield a higher capacity than at high current. Either way, be aware that you will never get the full rating in the real world. So I plug the unit back in to recharge in preparation for the second test, which will be the torture test. In this test, I want to test the 150 watt rating of the built-in inverter. This is a modified sine wave inverter, unfortunately, but at this price point, that's to be expected. Anyways, I grabbed the same fan from test one and added a heavy duty LED shop light to the mix. The fan uses 65 watts, which we know, and the LED light uses 75 watts. Now that we know the power consumption when we plug it into the wall, I plugged everything into the power station and turned it all on. I let it run for a while to make sure it was going to handle slightly less than the 150 watt rating for an extended period. In other words, 150 watts isn't just a surge rating, but what happens when we go over 150? To tip the scale just over 150, I grabbed my cell phone fast charger and added it to the mix. No complaint from the power station at all. So I went and grabbed a second box fan to add significantly more load. Surprisingly, it handled it just fine on low speed, which puts the total at 200 watts. But when I touched that knob to go up to medium or high, the power station finally gave up and shut down. In conclusion, there are some things to really like about this device. It handled more than 150 watts like a champ. It is ultra small and portable, and it has USB-C charging and an LED floodlight. But since Energizer didn't include a USB-C cable, I didn't think it was fair to test that feature or give them much credit for it. And the price point at 190 US dollars on Amazon is a little high compared to the competition. Right now there's a $20 Amazon coupon, and that makes it a little bit better. 
Before I conclude this video, I wanted to mention another Chinese brand to keep an eye on. Rayhome is a supplier of inexpensive rechargeable AA and AAA batteries. I've been using some of their AA batteries for a while, and they've performed well compared to some other brands that I have, and they have a higher capacity rating too. So next time you need batteries, jump on Amazon and use the link in the video description to pick some of these up. As always, thanks for watching this video, and if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe and hit that bell notification icon.